tandem master cylinder or dual circuit master cylinder. It is the modified type of master cylinder in which dual cylinder dual piston or single cylinder dual piston along with dual circuit is used for independent braking between front and rear wheels. This type of master cylinder is used in almost all cars as it is more efficient than single circuit master cylinder. It provides the independency between front and rear wheels braking or diagonal type of braking which is the important safety feature for a vehicle. Construction 1. Reservoir In tandem master cylinder instead of single reservoir to our dual chamber reservoir is used as a storage tank for brake fluid. 2. Cylinder Same cylinder as in single circuit type is used with the little modification that is it is the housing of two pistons and also there are two outlet and two inlet valves. In tandem master cylinder there are two compression chamber inside the cylinder. 3. Piston Instead of one piston, two pistons that are primary piston and secondary piston are used in tandem master cylinder. The actuation of secondary piston occurs after completion of the primary piston movement. Primary piston is connected to the brake pedal and secondary piston is placed just behind the returning spring of primary piston. 4. Returning spring in tandem master cylinder two returning springs are used one with the primary piston and second with the secondary piston. 5. Valves In tandem master cylinder as it is the dual circuit master cylinder two inlet and two outlet valves are used. Working principle The working of tandem master cylinder is 70% same as the single circuit master cylinder but in this type two independent circuits of braking is used let's see how it's worked. When brake pedal is not actuated, the piston remains at the original place closing the inlet valve of both the compression chambers, which in turn cuts the incoming of brake fluid between both the reservoir or both the reservoir chambers. When the brake pedal is actuated, at first the primary piston moves due to which opening of primary inlet valve takes place. Initially due to the movement of primary piston compression of the brake fluid inside primary chamber takes place. After completion of the compression in primary chamber primary outlet valve opens up and this compressed brake fluid is further sent to brake calipers through brake lines and actuation of the primary circuit brakes take place. After the completion of the primary piston movement that is at its extreme end the secondary piston starts moving because of the force applied by the primary piston spring, which in turn opens the secondary valve and incoming of brake fluid from secondary reservoir to secondary compression chamber takes place. This brake fluid is then compressed and after complete compression secondary outlet opens up and this highly compressed fluid is sent to the brake calipers through brake lines and actuation of the secondary circuit brakes take place. Application 1. It is widely used in almost all the cars equipped with hydraulic braking system. 2. Using tandem master cylinder in vehicle equipped with hydraulic braking system is made compulsory by governments of many countries because of its safety to brake failure.